What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Hey, in this video I want to talk specifically about uh, fusion rifles and sidearms in Trials of Osiris or even outside of Trials of Osiris when you find yourself going up against uh, the pretty typical stuff. And uh, you know, you know what I mean when I say the typical stuff. Uh, this weekend uh, there were uh, an abundant amount of, you know, Clever Dragons, Matadors, uh, Stormcallers, uh, Striker Titans, those sorts of things. When you're going up against those typical things, are, are fusion rifles and sidearms effective? Can they play against those things consistently and effectively? I, I believe the answer to that question is yes. And uh, the gameplay in this video uh, should accurately reflect that. Lots of sidearm and fusion rifle gameplay. Uh, supplementing primary and ability gameplay so I hope you enjoy the gameplay there's lots of team wipes in here and uh, solid plays and they're just gonna go to sort of prove the point but I want to talk about these things sidearms and fusion rifles you know uh, Destiny Trials report I was just uh, talking with them via via Twitter uh, DMs yesterday and uh, they were saying <laughs> that, that it's not getting any better out there. The meta is is getting even more prevalent. And so uh, when you're playing against it and you want to use these things, how can you make them work for you? Well, I'm going to give you some uh, a little bit of advice and sort of my, my uh, personal opinion on the matter. F starting with sidearms here. Uh, you know, in this gameplay I'm using the Wormwood. But there's a number of really good sidearms out there that you can use depending on your roles. Uh, the thing about sidearms is they have a bit of a vertical advantage. Um, they, they get the in-air accuracy buff that is uh, reflected in hand cannons as well. So you get that in-air accuracy that is pretty solid. You can consistently land your shots from the air and uh, that isn't that, that should not go overlooked. That means that you can do things like jumping backwards to avoid uh, rushing shotgunners, uh, jug shotties. You can jump backwards and accurately place your shots to melt their shield or just to put them down if they're not a jug. Uh, so jumping backwards to avoid, uh, give yourself a little bit of extra time when you're backpedaling and putting shots in the guys uh, with sidearms. Very, very effective, very effective. So you can do that with sidearms. You can also uh, be aggressive with them. You can jump up over cover. People a lot of times like to, uh, whether they're behind cover or on the other side of a choke point, you'll see that in this gameplay too. Uh, someone hard scoping from inside Red Room. And I jump through the door with a sidearm and get a couple of shots uh, just to spook them. And then I can uh, easily just gun them down with a sidearm. So you can be aggressive with them, uh, jumping through choke points and over cover. And uh, you see here, this is a this is a team wipe with the wormwood. I've got a, a storm caller chasing me mid super, but I, I get I get the uh, health regen off the first guy. Turn around right as his super expires, and he's a little bit exposed. I only have eight rounds left in the magazine, and uh, the very last bullet puts the last guy down. So you can do some pretty cool things with sidearms. Absolutely, uh, they can be very very effective. Uh, you can p keep people at arm's length, but you have to play like you don't have a shotgun. You absolutely have to play like you don't have a shotgun at your disposal. Uh, you have to be cognizant of that. You have to play like you have a sidearm. That's very, very important. A lot of people, they don't change up their, their approaches and their strategies. They play like they have a shotgun and they wonder why they get killed uh, before, they can, uh, before they can drop their opponents with a sidearm. You have to keep people at arm's length. Um, Warlock melees and throwing knives are great things to supplement sidearm gameplay with. Uh, they can sort of help make up for the last bullet or two that you can't get in before the person is on you. Uh, it, they, honestly, they aren't really anti-meta. They're not really anti-meta because they're low-key, very, very strong options. So uh, feel free to use your sidearms. Look for things like rangefinder. I, my, um, uh, my sidearm that I'm using... It, uh, it has rangefinder, it's got army of one, so it's going to help cool down my abilities, and it's got high caliber rounds because they, sh they shoot really fast, so high caliber rounds are actually pretty effective. Fusion rifles. Um, the thing about fusion rifles is they lack a little bit of consistency. Sometimes the, uh, the projectile spread is a little unpredictable, and that can get you burned. So, uh, but they also make up for that, I think, with the right rolls, you can sort of up the consistency factor on fusion rifles. 
they have really good range. You know, uh, some of your best bets are like Plan C, Saladin's Vigil, Pantare, Each New Day, the 77 Wizard. Those are sort of your best bets. Get the right rolls on them. Things like Rangefinder and Rifle Barrel will um, in very incredibly uh, raise your consistency factor with your projectiles and their spread. So look for Rangefinder, Rifle Barrel. That's going to definitely give you the best, uh, the best consistency with your fusion rifles. Once you get the, the right perks on fusion rifles, they can be really, really solid. But you have to play with two things in, in mind, pre-fire and pre-meditation are the two biggest things with fusion rifles, pre-fire and pre-meditation. So you got to be charging that fusion rifle up before uh, before you really need to uh, you know to get the shots off. So always be pre-firing when you have radar pings. Uh, pre-meditation is important. You have to actually plan your approach. You have to plan on using your fusion rifle. It's not... Uh, really an oh crap button like a shotgun can be especially if you have uh, something like the fitting aspects on where you can just do quick draw and pull a shotgun out and it's your your ultimate oh crap button so you have to have uh, pre-fire and pre-meditation now I really like plan C I love plan C because you can bypass both of those things the pre-fire and the pre-meditation with plan C you just have to be cognizant whenever I holster the weapon I look at the clock and 10 seconds is an easy, it's easy math to do. Just playing on 10 seconds from now, I can whip this thing out and instantly fire. So you can actually premeditate uh, activating the plan C perk. And I do that. You see this in this gameplay. Uh, I've done it so many times. I should premeditate using the plan C perk. I use it intentionally uh, because I have the timing down. That's very, very important. Uh, think about uh, fusion rifles. They can revive kill from a distance. Um, and it's it's easy to aim at shotgun warriors who are running in a straight line at you. A lot of shotgun warriors out there, uh, especially jug shields, because you have to you have to just run in order to keep the jug shield up. So guys will do that. So it's easy to aim them uh, at shotgun warriors uh, for the most part. Sometimes sometimes you get the roly polies, uh, the night stalkers and stuff. They're a little bit more difficult, but with practice uh, going up against good uh, evasive opponents, you can uh, consistently land your shots. Uh, we had a lot of flawless cards. Uh, using fusion rifles uh, this weekend so hopefully some of that information is helpful for you hopefully the gameplay was entertaining for you and uh hopefully you enjoyed that uh plan c and sidearm action and uh, hopefully guys will be encouraged to use some of these things in the trials of osiris and hopefully i meet you on the battlefield peace <laughs>